Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Benjamin Brembe from the Botanic Laboratory. Uh, today, I'm going to be saying about the botanic theory for the agricultural development. Uh, I think you may be confused about my topic because at first I would like to present only about the Android based system for the light leaf analyzer. But this is my first time here at Juliet and my first time joining the Pan Phenotype Conference. So I would like you all to know more about us and about our project that related to the agriculture stuff. So let's begin. So the first thing is about the bicarb application is a right leaf color meter for the nitrogen estimation in the soil on, on the light crop. So at first, the nitrogen is one of the, of the important elements for the growth of the light crop. So to achieve high yield, the farmer apply too much nitrogen. So they just put it, put it, and put it to gain more the product and to sell some stuff. But unfortunately, is this everything is the cost of the light crop is higher. Efficiency of the nitrogen fertilizer is the decrease, and the risk of the NO3 pollution is high. So to help to balance among the this. The real nitrogen demand of the light, the nitrogen available from the soil and the additional nitrogen fertilizer need to be calculated and estimated. So at first thing, our effort is based on the fact that the nitrogen, the light leaf represent color, so we can estimate the, the nitrogen from the leaf color because the greenness of the light leaf is depend on the chlorophyll content in the light leaf and then the chlorophyll content is uh, can be referred to the quantity of the nitrogen. So nitrogen standard of the light crop can be estimated based on the leaf color alone. So this one is uh, our first implementation is about I think seven years ago before the align of the mobile phone. So we use the green LED and the microcontroller to receive the, to detect the light and effect from the light leaf and we can classify the number of the nitrogen into six level over here. So, and the first thing, our first prototype is something like this that invented on the October of 2010. Is the specification is about, sorry about this one where and six, so it's quite compact and can move in the field. But later, from the ally of the mobile phone, so we try to improve our technology to based on the mobile application. So right now we have the three things: so mobile device, the friend object, and the application program to identify the light leaf color level and estimation the nitrogen fertilizer. So the model is like this one. For the light leaf, it's green like that, and we use the incident light from the sun, and we just use the, our camera from our mobile phone to receive the scattering light and the reflect light from the light leaf. However, we cannot decide, uh, uh, we cannot know the, what the intensity of the light that reflect to the, our camera, so we need some reference. In our reference, we just use the plain A4 paper, like this one. So. And then we just calculate the um, sorry the variance by using this equation. Uh, this one is uh, when we go on the field test and the mobile device that we use is something is a very old Android mobile phone version like this one. And for the reference, we just use the YA4 paper that you can find anywhere, something like this, and you just take the photo of the light leaf. Then our app, so I think you can, you have seen this one in one of our presented slide, and this one is the bicar application. So we know we can tell that the width level and what nitrogen that the light crop need more. So we classify it to one, two, three, and four level. This one, and this is our field test result and. We got some earlier because we tried to make it easy for everyone to use, so we didn't fix anything about it. One just plain white paper. So as you can see, for the leaf color level three, the white is some.
some have some earlier. This one because when the people <coughs> sorry uh, measure take the photo, the one left lens paper is bending, so our left lens is yeah is un uncorrect, and this one for the one and four is uh, due to the improper rotation orientation of the light leaf and the white paper. Uh, move on to the next device is uh, our device for embryo and endosperm analyzer, but this one is only mainly focused on the light, light scan only. It's something like this for the embryo of the light grain is something here, over here, and, and is deeper. Uh, it depends on the size of the embryo, so it affects the germination of the the light. So right here, the, and this one, the healthy rate of the seeding can be predicted by physically measuring the uh, the area of the embryo and the endosperm. So at first, when we don't have this device, so in the Thailand we do some stuff like it for the non destructive method. We just use the ruler, vernier or caliper or something to measure the size of embryo by hand. But for the destructive method, we use by sometimes we use hand to to mow the light grain or use the machine to mow it and measure the con content of the endosperm. But for us, we want to reduce the time to measure the size of the endosperm. <laughs> Sorry. So this one like this. So we have the some like the mobile tablet that you can find anywhere, but this one is a window platform. And we have the light saw, the linear pressure, and we put at the sample over here, and we just take the picture of the our light gain. So I thought the procedure is something like it. We take the photo of the bar right color image, and then we do something like the image positive stuff in the blue pen image, and then color texture method and prop analysis method. So this is uh, our first prototype that we use in the, our light department back in Thailand. So this is the specification of the equipment that we use in the power for the tie this one. So let's come on to the more detailed stuff. So this one, the original the color image of the light grain, and then we do some segmentation in the saturation image plane, and then we can get the image mark of the light grain over here. And then for our silicon grain, we just use the mark image to get only the part of our light grain, and then use the blue image pen to extract only the endo this part embryo and endosperm part. This one is embryo, and this one is the endosperm part. And we can find the contour of our embryo and just write this one, and we can estimate the size of our embryo. This one is a manual test from our expertise in the light, at the light department. So as you can see, the standard variation is quite the same from our airport and manual measurement. Uh, the error is about below 9%, so it's acceptable for this one. And the next one in the C line is the rice seed classification. So in Thailand, we can classify the rice seed into three, three class. So the first one is the, this one, Sorry. the glutinous, non glutinous, and the red rice seed. This one. So the, actually, when you want to classify the three types of this, you have to break the outer part of the rice seed and look at the right gain inside. If you see the for the non glutinous you will see that the light grain is very clear to the to the light, but for the light seed, the red light seed, the red light one is quite less. But this one is a destructive method and 
we read of the sample, so we want to find a way to how to classify the light without breaking the outer part of the light see. So by this one you haven't seen I, I don't know that you haven't seen the right seeds before. It's something like this, the yellow one and the right gain is inside this one. So if you want to know which type is it, you have to break the right gain, the yellow one, and look at inside. But for our technique we can see that we can classify, see the difference of the three type without breaking the outer part of the light scene. So this one for the red light, you can see that it's uh, absorbed more of the light, so it's see, you see here, this one is black or way back. But this one for the routinated light, you see it's much more better. This one is more clear. So we can classify the three type of the light without breaking any outer part of the light scene using this P1. <laughs> so the next one is a red S light. The light gain characterization, this one, is actually it's just a, some kind of scanner, but we modify it a little bit to measure the width and the length and the thickness of the light gain and estimate the percentage of the shockiness and classify the yellow length of light gain. So this one, this one is no shockiness light gain and no yellow lead. This one is very good quality light gain, okay? But if there will have some shockiness, so you will see that they have some white stuff inside the light gain over here. The more light stuff mean that the light gain can be very easy. So it's not good quality. If you buy the light in the Germany or in the UK, it's very high gain light, so you will see only the first one, okay, this one. And for the yellow net, it's something like this, this one. This one, the one that called yellow net is the old lights that keep not, not good enough, so the color of the light is changing. This one is not so good quality of the light. So for the light department, is a, this characteristic is important to maintain the phenotype of the light, so if the some quality of the light is normally do not have the shocking net and when the farmer continue go, go the light in their crop and then the third and the fourth generation of the light that go out have more and more shocking net so it's not good so maybe it's some mutation or something like that uh, this one is not relating to the light anymore so this one is the plankton counter is based on this one, our cloud device of the, our lab. This one is the set scan in a high resolution optical microscope <coughs> with automatic system for feeding sample and estimating the quantity of a small organism that living inside that sample. You can see that the, our sample is, I think, this one, and then is this automatic pump will pump the sample into our device and counting the plankton or some small organism that living in our sample. So the main feature is it. For the times better depth of field than the ordinary microscope and 40 times better field of view is one. So our implementation mainly is something like this. When the sample falls inside our device, then we will chamber that's one and we have some light sort and Sensor, CMOS sensor is uh, just like in the camera, the image sensor that captures the image of the sample then fall into our chamber. This one. So our system can see, I don't know that, it can help your project or not. So this one. The atom, the cancer cell, the yeast, and the waste part cell. This one. And we have paired with variety of the sample. So yeah, it's mainly on the bio biology stuff, so I don't know what is it and what can it do. Okay. <laughs> this one. And this is where it tell this out. And for other invention of our lab, we have something like the smart acquire application, the chemical concentration inspection. So actually when you measure the concentration of the chem chem chemical stuff, you have to put something like the test kit in there and leaving the color that change due to the test kit 
But unfortunately, the color chart that comes with the test kit, it may be depend on people. When we, they see that, okay, this one is level five, someone say it's level four. So we make some application that can, can lead the color more correctly than our eye. So the next one is a new term, it's a mobile platform for fever skinning. So I think that you see the first camera before. This one is the IR camera that used for the mobile phone and it's allow us to do some programming stuff. So this one we merging with the fade detection stuff so we can detect the fade of the patient and me measure the temperature, this one. And for the next one is the automatic silver set classification. So silver <laughs> is the, you, I think you know the silver that make the cloth in Thailand. So this one from this one. So when they want to um, reproduce the silver, they have to classify which one is male, which one is female. Actually, they done by human eye, by look at the side, look at it, it bottom or something like that. And but this one is can help, is can help the people to classify the sex of the silver easily without you training or anything by using the some machine learning stuff for this one. Uh, this one is a microarray. It's a system for leading the, I think it is stick that you put some, some chemical stuff in there and leading the forest by exciting using the UV or some, some kind of wavelength of light, it can for, for this, have some fluorescent and we can leading the level of the fluorescent and classify what the level of that chemical stuff inside the, the stick tape. And for the next one is the automatic nematode capturing system. Nematode is something like the worm, but quite very small one. Actually, in some country, they don't allow this nematode to go in their country because something like it's alien species. So and it always come, come with the orchid that Thailand mainly export to other countries, so we have to find a way to help people to inspect that nematode before it's going out of our country. So this one is system that help that one. So this one for the next one, the minimal the minimal lab is a mobile culturing laboratory. It's something like that when you want to test some kind of your Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> but some, something like, mm, I'm not sure what it's called in biology, mm. something once they go in some water and you want to know that, how well did they go, okay? Actually, you have to do some incubator and uh, some, something like this one, and then you have to monitor it by, by yourself, but this one you can, do something real-time tracking of the flow of your organism inside the bottle. And this one is a DNA light, is a smart DNA examination system. I didn't know much about this stuff, so <laughs> sorry. And this one is a our proud. The next one is our proud of our invention of our lab is a Mu Island. It's a mobile phone to the portable microscope. Actually, in Thailand, there are some in rural area, the student don't have a chance to access to the microscope stuff. So we have developed some kind of the polymer lens that can change your mobile phone into microscope, portable microscope so you can take the picture and share to everyone, everywhere you, that you want. And right now we have three magnetic about 20, 25, 50, and 100 times, this one. And it's already so in Thailand, actually, this one. Okay, sorry for taking your time. Thank you for your attention. So maybe one urgent question. A question about your colorimeter. Um, you mentioned the work from 2010. Yeah. And there you measured uh, six levels, yeah. or six color um, levels. And then with the e e rise yeah. device, we only will to four. Uh, actually, it's 
six level by for the four, five, six is the similar, similar nitrogen level. So, so we just cut to the four level. So, sorry, I didn't get that. So number five and number six? Uh, it's it's the same at the four. So that's why. Because uh, for the this one, you can see that there are six levels for this one. Okay. But for our experiment, we we found that for this level is not this level of nitrogen is not affect our light crop. So we decided that this one is actually is very close to each other, and the nitrogen chain level is not necessary for this one. Is so we just combine in that to one level, so we have just have four level for this one. Okay, th thank you. Thanks a lot.